Yeah, really big news. And this is actually going to be the third Chips for America research and development facility funded by the Biden and Harris administration. The facility will help find solutions and advancements in microchip manufacturing. This is a pivotal point for the nation. And the nation has said Arizona is the place that can help us have that entire lab to fab ecosystem. Arizona State University is making waves in semiconductor innovation, becoming the nation's latest microchip research and development facility. What this facility does, it's, it's basically a bridge between the research and development into the actual manufacturing of things that all of us use that have chips in them. The new state-of-the-art facility will be located in the ASU Research Park and will test new materials for microchips. How can you make things smaller? How can you make things not generate too much heat, last longer? Sally Morton, the executive vice president of Knowledge Enterprise at ASU, said for years the university has been trying to bring a chips facility here. ASU uh, has been working in the semiconductor space for many years, actually. From our cell phones to fighter jets, microchips are used in anything and everything. Right now, only 12% of chips are made in the United States. Uh, so it's possible for other countries that may wish to, to either control that supply in a way that is detrimental to our country. We also need to have complete line of sight with the chips that are going into our national defense systems. Not only will this help national security concerns, but it will also help bring economic development and new jobs to Tempe and our state. Having the ability to constantly remind other people uh, throughout the country about the great things that are happening right here in our backyard is tremendously helpful when it comes to uh, recruiting other people to come to the city or getting people to make even deeper investments into our city. The facility is expected to be complete by 2028, bringing the next generation of semiconductor and packaging technologies to the microchip industry in Arizona. It's a real evolution tremendous step up for the state. And right now there is a non-binding letter of intent mm -hmm. between uh, the, for the new lab. So they are still kind of finalizing some of that contract mm -hmm. there. Uh, but of course, we'll be sure to keep you updated as yeah. we learn more, but very exciting. Um, and again, we said this is the third research and development flagship facility. Mm -hmm. The other two were in uh, Albany, New York, and then Sunnyvale, California. Yeah. Big deal, and three years away, yeah. they'll be making those chips right here in town. Very quick. Michaela, thank you. Thanks, Jamie.